I'm Dave Riggs and I'm on the country of the Noongar Nation and we're right on the edge of the Southern Ocean and out there, 70 kilometres offshore, is the Bremer Canyon hotspot. It's an underexplored, completely mysterious location. I think very akin to the marine equivalent of a Jurassic Park. We leave Bremer, it takes us an hour and a half to get out to this place. And it's only as big as, you know, half a dozen football fields strapped together. And nearly every time we go there, it's just like an arena of, of activity. The first time I saw killer whales in this place, I thought it was a, a curiosity. But then to go back again and again and again and to continually see them and then to realise some of these were the same animals. I started to become interested about what, what is it that's causing all of these animals to come back here. There's a strange odour that permeates the Bremer Canyon. Could never work out what it was. After all of the years we've been going there, finally we have worked out what it is. It's the smell of death. The smell of predation. There's one particular day that really stands out. We'd headed out and we got to our hot spot right at the head of the, the Bremer Canyon. And that's when we saw these killer whales had found a blue whale and they'd clearly been chasing it. The blue whales are the biggest animal on the planet and they're singing away as they're going along and the killer whales are listening. And if they sense an opportunity, well, here's one, we're ready, let's go. It was a real concerted effort to keep it underwater. They were trying to drown it, but they were also biting it. There were a lot of big chunks missing found towards its tail. There were killer whales being hit by tails of the whale as it was thrashing, as it was moving. and then that killer whale would break away, another one would take its place. We've now got 50 or 60 killer whales, seriously dominant apex predators, swimming around our boat, feeding on this blue whale. And what is that coming over the horizon? We could see what looked like a stampede of white water coming, just heading straight for us then we can make it out. It's probably 200 pilot whales attracted by the carnage. 40 minutes from when the blood hits the water, the killer whales must finish their feed because the pilot whales come in and literally chase them away. It was an incredible moment to witness. It was gruesome, but you know, it is nature. It's terrible to watch sometimes, but just the way everything interacted together, it was fascinating. It was still there six weeks later, we went back to it. There was a huge slick of oil full of birds and tuna on the surface. So you can imagine what may be attracted to a carcass of that magnitude sitting right on the edge of the continental shelf in an area we know has got giant squid and colossal squid and great white sharks and bluefin tuna and broad-billed swordfish and the list goes on and on and on. I think it's so important to highlight places like this. You know, it's inspirational. There's nowhere else in the world like this. You know, this is the only location where a truly offshore population of killer whales can be found reliably. It's not all discovered, it's not all known by any means. It's a matter of looking a little bit beyond your backyard and who knows what you're gonna find.